What does a light bulb have in common with a wheel speed sensor circuit? We're talking about a bias voltage. Bias voltage is sent out by the command module through a circuit and it measures how much voltage comes back or how much resistance is in the circuit. This way they know the integrity of the circuit before they start energizing it with a full power. It's a signal between 5 to 7 volts. Many systems on the vehicle actually do this. By knowing how much resistance is in the circuit, they can determine if a bulb's blown, or if a wheel speed sensor is shorted out, or completely open. This way, they know, before the vehicle starts moving, to set a code. With light bulbs, it's not any different. You've probably had to deal with this. It's a burnt out headlight connector, or a burnt out connector to a bulb for a turn signal or a parking light. A lot of this happened because there wasn't bias voltage, and there wasn't a lighting control module testing the circuit before it sent a full 12 volts through it. By using a bias voltage and then turning off the circuit before you put the full 12 volts through, you're avoiding connector damage. And, good for you, it's generating a code that can be run with a code scanner to determine what's wrong with the circuit, if a bulb's blown with an open, or if there's a short in the circuit. So once that lighting control module has determined that there's an issue with the circuit, either with an open, short, or short to ground, it turns off the voltage. This prevents the system from burning out connectors or bulbs and possibly causing damage to the wiring harness. So the next time you get a complaint that a bulb is not working on a vehicle, you might want to pull out your scan tool to see if it's working or there's an issue with the circuit or the lighting control module. This way, you're going to nail it the first time and, if possible, clear those codes for the light to come back on. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.